Good afternoon, Storm fans. We're here at Ritchie Hall on campus of Lake Erie College in Painesville, Ohio, and today is February 5th, 2014, National Signing Day. I'm joined by head coach Mark Mac McNally. He's going to give us some insight into uh, this year's recruiting class, and we're going to just go right through, and we'll start off right away with uh, John Bell, a uh, running back and wide receiver out of Waldorf, Maryland. John Bell is an explosive playmaker. He's a guy that had a ton of highlights returning kicks. Um, he's a guy that will line up for us as a wing on offense. He's a game breaker, a uh, playmaker, a guy who's dangerous with the ball in his hands, a guy that we're looking forward to scoring a lot of touchdowns. Um, excellent player. I'm very excited to have John aboard. So we have Brandon Bailey, offensive lineman from Strongville High School. Yeah, Brandon Bailey is probably one of the top guys in the class. Big, huge offensive lineman. Um, very long, very polished, um, great in protection. Um, a guy that was on, uh, been offered several Division One scholarships and chose to come to Lake Erie. I um, think he's a guy who's ready to step in and play right now. Um, like I said, just going to have a big impact on the Storm offense. A really, really great prospect for us. Next up we have Garrett Braun, a punter from Clarksville, Indiana. You know, Garrett's a guy that came to us, uh, wants to run track and play football. Um, had an average up around 40 yards per punt. Um, don't know a whole ton about him, haven't seen him in person, but just on film and um, what he brings to the table statistically should help the kicking game right out of the gate. Um, excited to have him on board. Aaron Bushner, a defensive back quarterback from St. Vincent St. Mary. Aaron's a, a great, great athlete, was a starting quarterback on the state championship team last year. Um, played a lot of DB early and then they got a little bit backed off because they didn't want him to get hurt playing DB because he was their starting quarterback. But a guy who's another tremendous athlete. Could play DB, could play quarterback, um, could play slot receiver. Um, just up, up, upgrades our athleticism across the board. Great player. We have offensive lineman Gino Chirazzo from Wycliffe. Gino's another big body, um, guy who played at Wycliffe High, started on both sides of the ball, all-conference player. Um, physical, I think his best football is still out in front of him, just starting to scratch the surface. Um, great feet for a big man. Desmond Filey, a linebacker out of Macedonia and Nordonia High School. Uh, Desmond's a guy probably getting overlooked because he's not the biggest guy on the planet. Great instincts, always finds a way to be around the football. Um, Going to be a great special team player early for us. Uh, like I said, just a guy that loves to hunt the football. Someone that will fit in really well with the Storm defense. Then we have another defensive back, Caleb Finnamore out of Westland, Michigan, Livonia Franklin High School. Caleb plays big school football at Michigan. Um, big, tall, rangy body, plays off the hash, plays downhill. Um, seems to always find his way around the football. Um, can play run support, can play coverage, uh, a nice addition to the secondary. And then we have two big defensive linemen next. We have Alec Heldreth from Canfield High School. Alec's a guy that, again, we've been on for a long time, a guy we've been working with forever. Um, need to restock that up defensive line. He's a guy that uh, really loves to play the game, plays 100 miles an hour. Um, always will find him chasing the football. I don't know if there's anybody more excited about this recruiting class, but he's, uh, he's a guy that with that excitement level, that passion for the game will, again, really fit in well for what we're trying to get done defensively. And then the other D lineman, Connor Lowe, out, you know, right in our backyard, Perry High School. Connor's a local guy. Just love him. Love his attitude. Love his work ethic. Again, has great highlights on both sides of the ball. Um, great feet for a big guy. Um, could probably start him on either side, but we think we'll probably start about with the defensive line to try to get us a little bit of push there. Um, another guy who's excited about football and excited to be about to be at Lake Erie College. Next, we have another quarterback, James Jimmy Moore, out of Monroeville, Pennsylvania. Very excited about Jimmy. Been calling him Jimmy Football all day long. Uh, great quarterback from Gateway High School. Um, ran a very very similar offense to what we do in the spread. Great decision maker. Great accuracy. Mobile. Um, just makes plays. Um, really fits what we do offensively. Couldn't be more excited to have him as a, as a quarterback for the Storm. Next up, you know, we have a, a strong tradition in the area at Menor High School, the place kicker. We, we landed Mike Music. Mike is a, a big part of this recruiting class. Um, the kicking game obviously was an area that we needed to improve on. Um, picked out Mike early. Um, tried to work with him all the way through the process. Um, got him on the visit schedule late. Um, just worked out perfectly. Um, can help us as a punter, definitely will help us as a kicker. Um, has kicked in, obviously, so many big games and so much adverse con uh, weather conditions. Um, just a clutch guy. We're so, so excited to have him to bolster the kicking game right now. Um, it's just a, a great pickup for us. Uh, also announcing uh, the transfer of a defensive back, Colson Nicholas from Seminole College. Yeah, Colson's a guy that we tried to get up here last year for the fall and uh, you know just didn't quite work out, didn't have all the T's crossed and all the I's dotted. 
as a guy we saw last spring, um, probably a nickel back or a rolled down safety, very physical, very aggressive, um, you know, may grow into a linebacker even. He's a guy that uh, loves to hunt the football, loves to bring the noise, uh, physical, physical defensive back. And then we have another defensive back and tapped into the Florida region down there. We have Gabe Rivera out of Atlantic Beach, Florida, and he's uh, at Mason High School, just moved up here in the Ohio area. Yeah, another guy that, uh, kind of a funny story, or, or a late move, moved to Ohio just before the season started. Um, a lot of guys didn't know about him. Um, had him up on our first recruiting visit, kind of flew him underneath the radar. Um, just a, a wonderful, we think a great young man. Um, comes from a, a tough background. Um, but really has uh, improved in the classroom, improved on the field, um, can get it done in coverage, can get it done in run support. Uh, we think is instant help for our secondary. A really, really good football player. Then another big offensive lineman, maybe uh, pair up with Brandon Bailey, Dale Roddick out of John Hay. Yeah, Dale's a, Dale's a warrior. Uh, saw Dale last year at some of the one-day camps. Big, physical, has a body to go play right now. Uh, is a finisher, has a little bit of a mean streak. Um, just a guy that's a competitor, loved him from the start, takes coaching extremely well. Um, is a guy that uh, just from day one fit in well with our work ethic, with our staff. Uh, him and Coach Boyce have a, a good relationship already. Um, like I said, he's a, a big physical guy with a college body right now. Could play guard, could play tackle. Um, just a really nice piece to the puzzle. And we have uh, another wing player here who seems like he's going to be a great fit to our offense, Darnell Tate out of Hubbard, Ohio. Yeah, Darnell's a guy, you turn on his highlight film, plays running back, plays, uh, plays receiver, um, great broken field runner. Um, you know, we get into our, our double slot offense, we call those guys wings. We think he is tailor-made to be a wing for us. Uh, we will find ways to get him the ball, we'll throw it to him, we'll toss it to it, we'll hand it to him. Um, every time he touches it, he's a threat to go the distance. Um, really, really good flat football player, uh, was, was rated very high on our list, and again, lucky to get him, very, very excited to have him part of the offense. And Mitch Tilly, another defensive back, and he's out of Oxford, Michigan, Oxford High School. Yeah, one of Coach Cullen's recruits, another guy that came on a visit early, um, just kind of fell in love with the place. Um, another ball hawk in DB, um, does well in the return game, does well playing safety, always seems to show up where the ball's at. And a guy that makes play after play on his highlight film, um, can't have enough of those guys in the secondary. Look to plug him in at safety and uh, see how it rolls. I think he's another guy that could play the nickel position, but uh, start him at safety first and see how it happens. And then last but not least, finally we have another transfer, this time out of Mercyhurst College, another local product out of Willoughby, Devin Woods. Yeah, Devin Woods is a, a known commodity. He's a guy locally here in town that had a great senior year um, at South. Um, was teammates with the Lindgren brothers currently on our roster. Um, went to Mercyhurst and just didn't work out. Um, back home, playmaker, deep threat, runs extremely well, big soft hands, um, has played college football. Uh, again, we think instant, instant help for the receiving core, another talented body out there. Um, very, very excited about uh, uh, Devin being back and, and what he can bring to the table for us. Well, we want to congratulate you, Coach McNally, on another great recruiting class this year. I uh, also want to say thank you and welcome to our new recruits and their families and looking forward to getting these guys out there on the field next year. Well, we, we're excited about the class. Uh, not big in numbers, but very, very good in quantity or quality. Um, there's still some big ones out there fishing around that we're going to reel in, um, but the class is a start for right now. It's exciting for us. All right, that'll do it for us today here at Ritchie Hall, and good luck Storm next year and rage on.